He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I am currently watching the HBO four-part documentary series, Murder on Middle Beach. Now, I'm obsessed with true crime. I cannot get enough of it. And Netflix and HBO have really stepped up the game for the true crime genre. HBO alone, the past three to four months, has had a true crime show in their Sunday night slot. First, it was I'll Be Gone in the Dark, then it was The Vow, and now it is Murder on Middle Beach. So far, only the first two episodes have aired, but I really just wanted to talk about what I've seen so far. So, in 2010, a Connecticut woman named Barbara Hamburg was brutally murdered and her killer has never been found. The difference with this documentary series is the fact that her son, Madison Hamburg, is the one behind the lens. He's the one who has made this documentary and trying to not so much figure out who his mother's killer is, but just try to get more information and... and a better understanding of what happened. Madison Hamburg has been working on this film for years. It's become a real labor of love for him, and you can kind of tell the first episode seems to have been a student film, and the rest of the series, I'm assuming, is just going to progress from there over the years. He's able to interview and speak with just about everyone connected to his mother's case, whether it be a lot of family members and friends, and there's a whole nother side of it that I don't want to spoil, but he, he's just able to speak to people and they're willing to speak to him and i think it comes from the fact that he is the murdered murder victim's son and the willingness there that they want to help him and they want to tell him things that maybe they won't have told another documentary filmmaker or the police for that matter i feel like his point of view is very interesting to see where it's going and he's probably going to be able to unearth some things about his mother that he didn't want to learn but it's necessary now there are some questionable means that he uses to get some answers for instance he does some hidden audio tapings that i'm not sure are legal and i'm kind of surprised they're in this documentary because i i still don't understand the legality of all of that but you know what at the end of the day this kid his mother was murdered and he wants to figure out information he wants to hear things he, he needs them and he's also trying to make this documentary and i think it's kind of consumed him in a way where he's focusing as a filmmaker more so than a son at times where does that make sense or i guess if you're watching it you'll understand what i'm saying but it almost seems like he's focusing more on being this documentary filmmaker than her son and i guess you have to separate yourself because i can't imagine doing this if my mother was murdered like what would i do i guess i i guess i would do the same thing he's doing i would do whatever it took to get answers and if i have to have a hidden audio taping of something then i guess so be it but it's an interesting outlook the series as of yet is holding my interest, but it's not perfect. The editing is really, really bad, at least in the first two episodes. I, I'm hoping it gets better as it goes along, but like I said, I believe it was a student film the first episode or two. So it just it's not really following the format that we're used to seeing with true crime. Usually in episode one, you get the, the case, you know exactly what happened. I'm still not sure exactly what happened to his mother. I know she was murdered. I don't need all the gory details, but... I need, a need to know a little bit more, and it wasn't clear enough for me because I'm so scratching my head. I'm like, wait, what exactly happened to her again? So overall, if you enjoy true crime, you are probably already watching this just as I am. I am happy that it is only four episodes long, and it's not going to be dragged out like some other shows I know, The Vow. And I'm just curious to see what happens and where this story goes, and... It's not so much about him trying to find his mother's killer, it's more about him interviewing the people who knew something about her and getting a better understanding of his mother. And I think it's really interesting just hearing from his point of view and what's going to be unveiled. So please, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love reading comments and questions. I will respond to every single one of them. What do you guys think? I'm just so curious about what everyone else is thinking about the show. I need to talk to somebody about it. It is called Murder on Middle Beach. It is airing every Sunday night on HBO for the next two weeks. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.